This video is brought to you by the support of the student body and the scholars, my Patreon patrons who give towards the growth and development of the great moments. Learn more about the three ways that you can give to expanding the multifaceted ACG brand in the description below. Your favorite foreign Korean music historian exploring all the industry from A to Z. Okay, class, you've heard the conversations about cultural misappropriation, stereotypes, style biting. I've facilitated a lot of that. This isn't about that, though. This is simply about acknowledging Black excellence. This is Black History Month, an annual observance in North America, February 1st through 28th. And now, thanks to the power of YouTube, right here in South Korea by way of my channel. Today, we're placing the spotlight on Teddy Riley, Harvey Mason Jr., and Chick. This isn't comprehensive, just an introduction and place marker for further exploration into SM Entertainment. It is the common thread for each of these talented creators. Writing utensils ready? Let's begin. Edward Theodore Riley is one of the most prominent pioneers of the New Jack Swing sound and brought his song writing and production talents to K-pop at the start of the 2010s. He created the girl group Rania in 2011, worked with Jay Park on the track Demon, and his production style is the pulse of Girls' Generation's The Boys, the ladies' first international release. His work can also be heard with artists EXO, FX, and SHINee. Harvey Mason Jr.'s songwriting, movie, and music production skills have provided him an unimaginable variety of experiences with artists like Aretha Franklin, Britney Spears, Luke Vandross, and Beyonce. Both individually and with his production team, The Underdogs, songwriting and production markers are sprinkled through the discographies of SM Entertainment in every angle possible. Multi-platinum singer-songwriter Rodney Bell is that chick in the scene. Her pen game is strong and has earned her credits with many artists around the world. In the K-pop scene, she is a frequent go-to collaborator for EXO's projects, but has also worked with their label mates Girls' Generation and Red Velvet. This is just a taste of how one minority group has brought its musical energy to the K-pop scene. Music is a universal language and there's nothing that can stand in the way of its power. We'll journey through the talents of others during Asian Pacific American Heritage Month in May and back down this road later this year when the UK, Ireland, and the Netherlands are in observance of their Black History Month in October. Class is dismissed.